Little small creatures, because it's time for some real rock and roll on the Headbangers Ball. I'm Ronnie James Dio, your guest host for this week's edition of the Headbangers Ball. And for the next two hours, I've got nothing but the best in raucous metal music. Tonight, we have debuts from Hurricane, King Diamond, and the odd couple of hard rock, James Young and Jan Hammer. I'll also be talking to Ron Keel, who will be our special guest later this hour. And to start us off right, here's a world premiere by me and my band, Dio, and it's called I Could Have Been a Dreamer. Let's rock. A new one from Def Leppard, and from their album Hysteria, just released last week, after only four years of work. And they're off to Europe for a tour with Tesla, and they'll rock the states late in the fall. And at the top of the hour, we had a world premiere of my video, I Could Have Been a Dreamer. Uh, we did this video in Los Angeles in a very controlled environment. The only little problem was that we had some wolves in it that you saw. And the wolves uh, did what most wolves do. They had just eaten and decided uh, it was time to do something really rather weird, at least in a video. Uh, but we got around that one. No one stepped in their general vicinity, so that wasn't too bad. No sliding at all. And anyway, it was a good, lot of good fun to do. Now, we've got videos from Scorpions and Keel. No, we don't. We've got videos from Scorpions, and Ron Keel will be joining me in the studio after this. Scorpions, metal band out of Germany, rocking us with Still Loving You. Now, they're going to team up with gentleman rocker Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer for his next album? Well, I guess he's going to toughen up his act on that LP. Anyway, I'm Ronnie James Dio, your guest host for tonight's Headbangers Ball. And joining me here in the studio is Ron Keel. Hey, Ron. Hi, Ron. How you Back doing? together again. Yes, we are. The airwaves. Absolutely. Um, I guess maybe you should know a little bit of history about Ron Keel and I. Uh, we did uh, the Texas Jam together. That was last year. We also did an entire tour of Europe together uh, about a year and a half ago I think that was Ron and That's right. uh, what a time that was sure was it was the first time anybody had taken us out on a, a big major tour in so many countries and we still have many fond memories of that tour especially when your bass player Jimmy and I uh, co-wrote the song Calm Before the Storm a song that appears on our new album called Keel um, Jimmy Bain and I Ronnie's bass player uh, co-wrote this beautiful ballad in like three or four different countries as we went along on the tour that was a great memory. Mostly in bars. Mostly in bars and backstage and hotel rooms and, and pieced it together and, and now there it is on the new record and it's working great live. Right. I remember that night very well. You, you two uh, were making a lot of noise and we all left. Yeah. They, they, I still have some memories of that night. Yeah, left that, was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. We had a, we had a, a really an excellent tour of Europe. Uh, it was our pleasure to have Keel on, on the bill with us. Uh, you guys are great. Well, thank you. And, uh, I'm glad it's all still going for and you. Here we are again. Great rock and roll band. Yes, here we are again. And we'll talk some more with Ron Keel, and we'll check out their latest video in just a few minutes. We've also got Hurricane, The Crew, and Anthrax right after this. Hi again. Ronnie James Dio back with you here, and with Ron Keel. And when we're on the subject of Ron Keel, we have the Keel LP right here. And I'd like to ask Ron a question about this one. There's a song on this LP called United Nations. And it appears that you had 75 backup singers on this one. Can you tell us something about that? Not all of them were singers. They were all singing, though. It was uh, people from the record company, our management, our roadies, wives, girlfriends, anybody who had uh, helped us through the years. And I wanted to give them an opportunity to be on the record with us and to actually participate in it. And also one of the most massive chorus in history. And we took those... 75 people and sang the same chorus to the United Nations over and over again 20 times and then achieved the effect of 1,500 or so voices. I don't know how many people there, I lost count, but uh, it sounds like a live audience singing the background vocal. It's the most massive chorus in history, I think, and it uh, also achieved the result of getting all the people that were in the Keel family involved in the record as well. Did you pay them? No, no, no. Well, the man from the union, <laughs> he's going to come after you. Uh, tell us something about the video. The video is real special to us because it's the first time we've done a totally performance video. Just Keel in concert, no con concept, no um, surrealistic images or anything like that. We wanted to show people what we do live, and we went back to the first place where we ever did a concert at Perkins Palace in Pasadena, where we made our debut a few years back, filmed the video with an audience of all Keelaholics, 
And those people that, that were there at the video shoot are the reason for the energy that the band has in this video because it felt like a concert, it looked like a concert, and it is a piece of the Keel concert on tape. And this is it, we're gonna show it to you now. Keel, somebody's waiting. Thank <laughs> you.